Hello, followers. This is John Demokis, a.k.a. Half Man, Half Cichlids. Did you ever wonder where the nitrates go? I mean, we obviously know when we do a water change where the nitrates go. They, you know, they're removed with the old and nitrate-laden water. But where do the nitrates go when you have a planted aquarium? We'll talk about that in uh, this video and what's necessary to have uh, a planted aquarium essentially achieve a, a, a zero nitrate uh, situation. This is my 200 gallon uh, aquarium that we have visited in a number of my other uh, videos. Uh, it's mixed cichlids and Australian rainbows with some Cynodonus catfish and placos hiding in the plants. Uh, the, the fish are currently uh, feasting on freeze-dried krill, which they love. And it's been uh, 17 days since I trimmed this aquarium. And uh, I trim it for a number of reasons. One, uh, the uh, sort plants grow like crazy and have a tendency to shade out the uh, Anubias. And I also have uh, some floating water sprite that does the same thing. So the time has come to give it a trimming. Here's another nitrate hog, floating water sprite. I trim this every couple weeks because it will obviously take over the tank. This is about what I harvest from the, the 200 gallon every uh, couple weeks. I think in this case I waited 16 days but you can see the uh, primary biomass is uh, the leaves of the Amazon swords. There's also some water sprite in here and a few uh, Anubias uh, leaves. But you can see the, uh, the level of biomass produced, which is proportional to the nitrates consumed by the plants. So, you can see by far that the uh, Amazon swords, and to a lesser degree, the water sprite, are the uh, nitrate hogs that are sucking all of the, consuming all of the nitrates from uh, this aquarium. Here's that same 200 gallon after about a 15 minute trim job or haircut. Uh, most of what was cut back, of course, were the Amazon swords, to a lesser extent, the water sprite, and I did trim a few of the uh, uh, Anubias. And you can see uh, I opened things up so that plants like the Crips and the Anubias and the Jav Java fern uh, would get additional light, which would uh, in turn promote uh, uh, their growth and uh, their emergence too. The uh, crypts I have in here were cut back completely uh, about two months ago. But in any event, if you want to have this type of growth in your plants and achieve zero nitrates as I have, it's going to take CO2, fertilizer, of course fast growing plants, and uh, trimming your plants with uh, some frequency. Thank you for visiting.